Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be working on the Chevy Cruze, guys. And if you have a code that relates to ambient air temperature sensor or code P0073, guys, we'll explain what needs to be done and how we need to fix that. Now, quick introduction, guys. We'll have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please, guys, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully, you'll find the information helpful. Now, we have a sensor, guys, that detects how cold or how hot the air is outside and this sensor guys some, sometimes not often depending on the vehicles and models is used by the computer okay to actually adjust a few different things on the engine as well you have uh, you have intake temperature sensor that detects the uh, temperature of the air going inside the engine but especially even if you have a uh, uh, I don't know many diesel engine use that uh, ambient te air temperature sensor to actually turn the glow plugs on and off and all that stuff so quite a few things guys that the sensor could be used for and if it doesn't show okay on your dash let's say it doesn't show the temperature or it shows the wrong number I've seen sometimes even displays negative four it could be because of that sensor and we are going to cover that today now this is a 2015 Chevy Cruze but it should work for the whole generation guys and uh, just having okay the car like that we have a video guys how to remove and replace that sensor you do not have to remove the phone bumper but it's actually installed on the phone bumper and you have to remove one piece underneath okay let me show you right here that plastic piece will need to come out okay because the sensor is located right here guys this is your air a ambient air temperature sensor right here this is the guy little bitty guy right there so in order guys okay to uh, remove and replace that sensor you need to access it from the bottom so you can see where it's located right there that little bitty hole okay let me go down a little bit more so you can even see it better this is guys your ambient air temperature sensor so if guys, okay, if that sensor is bad, you, what do you notice? Okay, you notice on the dash that it will say negative 40 because of that sensor. And on some models, guys, I've noticed that if that sensor is disconnected, your AC will not work as well because it's part of the system. So uh, if you want to see where we bought our sensor from, check it out, guys. It's in the description of the video below, how we replaced ours. We have the video from start to finish that explains how to do that. You do not have to remove the bumper, but you have to remove that cover underneath and access the sensor from underneath so hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you guys for watching please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos and see you guys next time